explaining the Whiskey War. Hans Island is a relatively small island, only being around 1.3 kilometers in area, and is located in the Nares Strait. The Nares Strait is located in between Greenland, which belongs to Denmark, and Ellesmere Island, which belongs to Canada. International law says that all countries have control of the waters 19 kilometers from their land. These are maritime borders. Hans Island happened to be within 19 kilometers of both Ellesmere Island and Greenland, so both Canada and Denmark had a claim to the island. If we go back to 1933, the Permanent Court of International Justice ruled that Hans Island belonged to Denmark. That would have been the end of the dispute, if not for the fact that the Permanent Court of International Justice was part of the League of Nations. The League of Nations had been established after World War I and was kind of a predecessor to the United Nations. As the 1930s would progress, the League of Nations would begin to decline, and so did the court's rulings. The League of Nations would end up dissolving in 1946, and the United Nations would be founded. With the dissolution of the League of Nations, the court would also dissolve, meaning that their resolve of Hans Island belonging to Denmark was no longer valid. Despite this, there were more important matters for both countries, such as the end of World War II and the start of the Cold War. From there, the dispute would basically be forgotten. However, in 1973, both Canada and Denmark would agree to define their borders between both Ellesmere Island and Greenland. The treaty, however, did not mention Hans Island even once. Over the next few decades, people from both countries would end up landing on the island, putting up their flag, and leaving bottles of whiskey. That is the reason as to why it is called the Whiskey War. In 2005, Canadian soldiers would end up landing on Hans Island, and the Danes would get mad at this. Later that very same year, representatives from both countries would meet to finally resolve the dispute. In 2012, it would be proposed that the island would be split between the two countries, though the borders had not been drawn yet. In 2018, a joint task force between the two nations would be formed. Around two months ago from making this video, on June 14th, 2022, the island's new borders would be revealed to the public. 60% of the island's territory would be given to Denmark, while 40% would be given to Canada. In conclusion, the Whiskey War was a territorial dispute between both Canada and Denmark. This war would end in zero casualties. Thank you for watching this video on the Whiskey War.